Great greetings everyone, Nat Jam Media here, and welcome to a SpongeBob review. This is a review of the season three episode, The Bully. It's an episode where SpongeBob's at boating school, and there's a new kid named Flats the Flounder, who apparently drives a garbage truck. Not sure why he needs a driver's license if he already drives a garbage truck, and he's a bully, and he starts off by threatening SpongeBob. SpongeBob is scared of the bully. Mrs. Puff is no help. His friends are no help. Patrick turns out to be friends with the bully. Which makes sense why he's such a jerk in the later seasons. I probably would have had him call Mr. Krabs. This could have been a good episode to have a little kind of a father-son thing between Mr. Krabs and Spongebob. And the ending is actually the bully does want to beat him up. It's not like a ironic ending or some misunderstanding the bully actually does want to beat him up at the end and he starts hitting spongebob and of course spongebob is a sponge he absorbs the punches and no damage and that would have been a good ending if flats hadn't have gone exhausted then mrs puff thought that spongebob beat him up let's talk about mrs puff in this episode she's super idiotic yeah. and unlikable so she thinks that flats drawing a picture of him beating up spongebob on the chalkboard is art but then when spongebob tells her that Flats is gonna beat him up. She literally tells Flats even though she promised to Spongebob that she wasn't gonna tell him. And apparently, apparently beating someone up, like, I'm your friend or something stupid like that. Well, that's what he told her, you yeah. know. You're the teacher. I don't think you would believe lies like that. And in other episodes, you usually don't believe stuff like that. For me, this is a one and done episode. I don't ever want to see this episode again. I'm giving this episode an awful. <laughs> Bullying is a serious subject and they did not treat it well at all in this episode. They had, they had an opportunity to do something good with it and just, eh. Yeah. I'm gonna say that this episode is bad. I don't think it's quite as bad as Jam does, because there is one thing I do like. Sandra goes to flush himself down the toilet, and then a bunch of water just goes spl spraying all over the place. That was kind of a cool yeah, shot. That's kind of funny. And, then, and I don't think it's necessarily the most awful episode of the show, but for a pre-movie episode, I expect much better. Like, the first minute of this episode is SpongeBob rearranging his pencils. Not only does it have absolutely nothing to do with the plot, but the sound of wood chops are used a lot, and it just kind of gets a bit obnoxious. This is the worst episode of pre-movie SpongeBob. It's yuck!